No one is saying that by inviting Black audiences here, you were uninvited. On Broadway, there were nights where tickets were only sold to people who identified as Black. Are you going to do that in the West End? I'm so excited to, yeah. You are? Yeah. I mean, I think that one of the things that we have to remember is that um, people have to be radically invited into a space to know that they belong there. And in most of our country, in most places in the West, uh, poor people and Black people have been told that they do not belong inside of the theater. In America, Jim Crow existed to literally tell them that they could not sit in the same theater as white people. And so for me, as someone who wants and yearns for Black and brown people to be in the theater, who comes from a working class environment and so wants like people who do not make, you know, over six figures a year to feel like theater is a place for them. It is a necessity to radically invite them in with rant, with with initiatives that say, that say you're invited, specifically you. Right. And if the price of that is saying to people who are just because they're white, you can't come, you're not allowed in this space. Does that make you uncomfortable? Well, no one's saying, listen, there there are a litany of places in our country, in all of our countries, that are generally um, inhabited by only white people. And no one uh, has questions about that. And no one is saying that by inviting Black audiences here, you were uninvited. The idea of a blackout night is to say, this is a night that we are specifically inviting Black people to fill up the space, to feel safe with a lot of other Black people in a place where they often do not feel safe. OK, and does it, does it play differently? Does the theatre feel different? 100%. It feels... In what way? Explain. Um, I think that, um, you know, we all... Let's not act um, uh, as though we do not know that uh, culturally... Black audiences and white audiences respond to things differently. 